The questions asked in the questionnaire were designed to get some feedback from a wide range of audiences. When making the questionnaire, we had to consider a range of different questions so the feedback would help us build or improve our teaser trailer. We gave our questionnaire to 10 females and 10 males so we can get a better view on what both genders want. We asked people for their ages so we can achieve an idea to who our film would be aimed at. The category ranged from 10 to 14, 15 to 20, 20 to 25 and 25 and older. From the results, we concluded that our target audience was ages 15 to 20. However, there were three other categories that were picked. This helped us on how we should produce our teaser trailer. The next question was the most important to making an overall decision. We asked which genre are you most likely to watch. The options were thriller, horror, comedy, psychological, action and adventure. Majority of the audience voted for comedy with 40%. However, as a group, we first decided that comedy was not going to be one of our options as it would be hard and challenging to compose. Psychological was voted as second best for this movie genre. We had an idea planned already, a rough idea of a paranormal events and how it affected the mind. However, we found it difficult to execute. The genre we chose was psychological. We felt by making this genre of our movie, we will stand up from the rest of the genres that have not been used in the past and the upcoming. We then asked what type of narrative most interests them. They were assassination, road trip, haunted house or train and paranormal events. From our audience feedback, we found out that road trip idea was the most popular. We were happy with this choice as this narrative style was never done before and we already started drafting with this storyline and was our initial idea. We want to ask this question as we want the storyline to appeal to the target audience. We previewed our first cut of our trailer to our target audience. What's the scene with the soldiers in the line? The first mm -hmm. scene with um, the people with dog chains, they're not soldiers, they're the poor people on the dystopian side. Oh. And um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to portray how they dress as they have no luxuries as um compared to the utopians so the dog chains that they wear that they're wearing uh, are a way for the utopians to know who they are oh i see what you're trying to say um you know the the scene with the the people with the smart clothing they're this they we're trying to portray the opposite kind of thing so they're like showing how they've got more luxury than the dystopians I see what you're saying, but I don't think that that scene relates to the rest of the storyline. But we're trying to show the audience the difference, because then the storyline won't make sense. I think that that scene doesn't fit in, because one minute there's a man tied up which builds a lot of suspense, and then suddenly there's people with dog chains. I really don't see the comparison between the two. We just felt that it would be com compulsory, because that's part of the storyline. It's... It's a battle between the utopians and the dystopians, meaning the poor society and the rich society. So that was a way for us to portray this idea. I think people would think the same thing as me. Like, if the scene, if that scene was to be in the actual trailer, yeah. I would be very confused because I don't know what, uh, what the clip is trying to explain and portray. From the feedback, we found out that the storyline didn't flow properly and didn't make sense. We also gathered that the scene with the dystopians and the utopians in line, displaying their clothes, confused the audience to what the scene tried to portray. We felt it was necessary to include, as this scene was the only way we could distinguish the two societies, but we had to remove the scene as it didn't make sense. We also had to make the beginning much shorter, as from our audience feedback, we found out that it was too long. So we had to remove the scene with the main character's boots walking over the camera. These clips were not needed as it slowed the trailer down. We also had to change the soundtrack as our target audience felt the soundtrack didn't fit well with the scenes. They felt it resembled an adventure film rather than a psychological thriller. We also had to include text and dialogue as the storyline would make more sense and it would follow the conventions of a teaser trailer. By using the social network site Facebook, we were able to receive audience feedback from people aged 15 to 20.
when we presented our first edit of our magazine, feedback said that our colour scheme was not good. They felt the colours didn't portray a professional magazine. They also said that we needed to include a section about recent movies coming out this year so it would follow the conventional magazine. The magazine was hard to produce as our target audience felt images selected were not effective. We learned that a close-up of the main character's face is more effective than a body image of her as a previous image showed the character in full and was not effective and was not appealing to our target audience. We also got audience feedback for our poster. The target audience liked the idea of the DNA molecule to be standing out from the rest of the images as the images used in the poster were black and white to follow the trailer colour scheme. Whereas the DNA was in bright red and green colours. From the feedback given for, for our first edit of our poster magazine we edited the areas that our target audience suggested to improve. 